to Clutch situation. I am continuing our celebration of 3,000 subscribers on the channel. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And in preparing for this celebration, I wanted to make sure that I did something that would keep your interest peaked. And so this is the second part of a two-part video. The first part was focused on a collection update, which I had not done a collection update for the channel in a very long time. And this second video is focused on a mechanical pencil review. And for this review, I invested in a mechanical pencil that I just happened on by chance just a couple of weeks ago. And I'll be the first to admit, I had not in any way, shape, or form expected to be either purchasing a pencil from this manufacturer manufacturer nor reviewing one in this short time scale and it just so happened that the timing worked out perfectly that just as the channel hit 3,000 subscribers I found a mechanical pencil from a manufacturer that I had never reviewed before but I had considered for a very very long time on the channel now what you see in front of you is the spoke model 4 mechanical pencil and for those of you who may not be aware of Spoke, Spoke was developed by a gentleman by the name of Brian Conti out of North Carolina. And he started a Kickstarter in July of 2012 with his Model 1. There have been a couple of mechanical pencil Kickstarters that have happened over the last couple of years. I haven't personally invested in any of them because I'm kind of picky when it comes to mechanical pencils. My friend DJ uh, gifted me with the Magno De Neodymium uh, mechanical pencil, the clutch pencil, and I really appreciated that, and that was a worthy addition to my collection. But this is the first pencil that was uh, a legacy of a Kickstarter that I've ever done. And so the Model 1... Uh, I'll just give you some quick stats on what happened with the Kickstarter. There were 318 backers that raised 16722 out of a goal of $12,000. And Mr. Conti's goal in starting this Kickstarter was to not only create the ultimate mechanical pencil, but also to have one that had a unique design and came in a variety of colors and would be something that he could market to enter into a... Uh, group of mechanical pencils that doesn't always have uh, customizability as a main feature. And so the original Kickstarter spoke, the Model 1 came in red, blue, black, gunmetal gray, and silver. They were all solid aluminum, a single piece. But probably the most interesting feature for these, and what initially piqued my interest for the Model 1, was that it uses a Pentel P200 series internals as well as the outer accents and so if you look at this pencil and the lead sleeve looks familiar to you and the cap looks familiar to you and the eraser looks familiar to you it is because this is the internals of a p200 series pencil now i'm going to be honest with you i don't know what the status is of spoke model pencils and using these particular uh, internals of a of a already patented mechanical pencil, but as a consumer, I'm not really going to complain about it until I hear that it's a problem because it's a really great internal coupled with a really good external body. Now there were other prior models that this Kickstarter had, specifically the Spoke Two in 2014, which came with uh, slightly different colors and a slightly slimmed design. Specifically, the Spoke Two came in gunmetal gray, silver, blue, orange, and red. And as far as I'm aware, Model 1 and Model 2 are no longer available. These were all limited runs. Uh, Mr. Conti was successful in getting all of the pencils out to his backers for his Kickstarter. He did a small run of Spoke 2. And then there was another two-year hiatus until 2016, which he came out with a Spoke 3, which was slowly a titanium model. What he noted from the titanium model, once again a single piece, was that it was difficult to machine, expensive to machine, and it had a new grip and body design, which is very similar to what you see in front of you with the Spoke 4, and it retailed for about $44, $45 plus shipping on his Spoke website, which incidentally is spokepencils.myshopify.com. Uh, I'll be sure to include this web address 
when I actually do the review of the actual pencil coming up. So, I had sort of lost touch with spoke mechanical pencils because I had made the decision, I was really concerned that uh, the spoke one and two models were going to be a little bit too heavy for my tastes, that they had thicker grips than the model that you see before you, and I'm not a thicker grip sort of guy. And so when I was just perusing mechanical pencils, as I normally do on the internet, I noticed uh, just a couple weeks ago that the Spoke Model 4 that you see before you had launched in October of 2017. And I reviewed the specs. That was the first thing that I did. Uh, just a couple of details on those specs for you right now. This is two pieces that have been fused together. These two pieces cannot be separated from each other. Now you can unscrew just like you normally would with a Pentel Sharp series, the lead sleeve right here so that you can get at the internals. That is definitely a possibility. Uh, but the body of the pencil is two pieces that have been permanently fused together. What I love about this Spoke 4 model is that Mr. Conti has really made an effort to truly make this very customizable. Not only does it come in 0.5 millimeter, 0.7 millimeter, and 0.9 millimeter with that P200 core, but you also get choices of the following. You can have two different grip diameters with this pencil. You can get it in 8.3 millimeter, which you see in front of you. This grip is about the same grip diameter as a Bic pen. Or if you prefer a thicker grip size, you can get it in 9.2 millimeters, so nearly a millimeter thicker in diameter. You can also get the grips in a wide variety of different choices. You can get it in two versions of aluminum, black anodized, which I did, which you see right there, gray anodized. You can also get it in brass, and he mentions on the website that the brass will patina as it ages. You can get it in stainless steel, or you can get it in titanium, just like the Spoke 3 model from 2016 was in. You can also customize the barrel, which I also did. The barrels are all anodized aluminum. I think that this probably contributes to the overall weight of the writing instrument. The listed weight is 0.83 ounces, which is less than the listed weight of a Rotring 600. It's important to point out. The listed weight for a Rotring 600 is 1.1 ounces. And that uh, anodized aluminum barrel comes in the following colors. Black, blue, gray, silver, or I got it in red. Now, part of the reason why I jumped on this is not only because of the lower weight of this version of the spoke pencil, which honestly was probably the largest factor that contributed to me picking it up, but the customizability was critical for me because I really could craft a pencil what I really wanted. And so the last thing that I have to talk about with how I customize this, and you can see it printed on the side, is that I got mine in 0 0.9 millimeter. I really like this attractive lettering on the side of the pencil. Now, those of you who follow mechanical pencils will note that you don't see a pocket clip on this. I'll talk about that in a second. You can see the dock that comes with the pencil uh, in the frame. And uh, you'll notice that it comes with some additional kit as well. You get a three-pack of Z2-1 erasers, which are refills for Pentel, and you get a pack of uh, Pentel Super High Polymer Lead that matches the lead diameter of the pencil that you are working with. And so with all these things together, I just thought this is too cool to pass up. Oh, one thing that I should mention before I continue is that because the grip is available in black and the barrel is available in red, I was able to get this pencil in my school colors, black and red. So go Warriors, go Westside Warriors here in Omaha. I was able to get a pencil that matched our school colors. And so I just think that that is awesome. Now, if you want to know more about what's going on with these Spoke 4 mechanical pencils, I just want to point out that Spoke has a presence on Facebook, and it has a presence uh, with its My Shopify account. And so I'm, I think I'm just going to slide everything over a bit to the side so that you can get some information if this is something that you might be interested in. And so super reliable mechanism right off the, the bat because we know exactly what to expect with this mechanism, and it's a mechanism that's going to last forever. And so these are available at spokepencils.myshopify.com. 
And, you know, I'm going to run down the rating scale for this, and we'll talk about the cost at that point. This is the Spoke 4 Mechanical Pencil by Brian Conti. And, Brian, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Okay, and so I will run down the rating scale in just a little bit, uh, and then I'll also talk about the price. Um, I've been using this for a couple days. I've really enjoyed using it. This is a really challenging review for me because there's so much going on with this pencil that I'm going to try to do my best to be semi-objective, I guess. I mean, there's nothing objective about my rating scale here on the channel, but I'm trying really hard to be as objective as I possibly can in rating these things. And so I think what I want to do here is before I actually nail down the ratings on my normal rating scale for this... I think it actually makes more sense for me to write down the pros and cons first so that you can sort of see where I'm going with each of these things because I think, honestly, this review is going to be very different from how I'd go about reviewing a, a pencil because this pencil is, is pretty unique in the market, okay? So I'm going to start off with the pros on this review. We have... P20X internals. That's awesome. We know that this is a reliable mechanism. That also means that this pencil is going to be easily repaired if something goes down with the mechanism, which is not always something that you can guarantee is a possibility for a mechanical pencil. In fact, I'm just going to reference really quick. This is my Rote Ring 600. For the first time ever, and it took a couple years for it to happen, I dropped my Rote Ring 600 at school last week and bent the tip. Now you can see that this tip isn't bent because I was already able to replace, uh, to purchase a replacement tip from JetPens. And I just had to wait a couple days and it came in the mail. And for those of you who might be interested in other things that are coming up as a result of that, zoop, zoop. There's something for you to look forward to for those of you who actually watch the videos all the way through. So I was able to repair this Rote Ring 600. Now, Rote Ring mechanical pencils are repairable in terms of the lead sleeve, but in terms of the internals, it's going to be very difficult for you to replace that. Not so with the Spoke 4 mechanical pencil. That's going to be something that's going to be super easy for you to replace. I think it's weighted pretty well. Uh, let's see if we can, okay, so there's a balance point, maybe a little high for some people, maybe some people would prefer to have it weighted more towards the tip. I deliberately selected aluminum for the tip for this pencil, not only because I could get it in black, but also because I was concerned about the overall weight of the pencil if I were to go with, with stainless steel or titanium. I plan on actually purchasing a second one of these sometime soon. And I may go with stainless steel or titanium for the grip on the second one just to get a little bit more of a bottom weight to see if that changes uh, how I feel about it. Then again, at the same time, I'm also kind of inclined not to do that because I like this as is, and so why mess with it? But that's just something that's a consideration in case you are curious about it. Um, I think this is stylish as all heck. I think it's a more subdued version of the original Spoke 1 and 2 mechanical pencils. You can do a little bit of research online if you want to see what the original Spoke mechanical pencils look like. This is sort of a much more elegant and streamlined version of the original S Spoke mechanical pencil based upon what I've seen from images. I think a huge pro for this pencil is how customizable it is. Uh, I don't think there's an eye there. That's okay, because I have my Pentel Z2-1 eraser. And by the way, the erasing for this is solid, just like you would expect from any docked Pentel eraser. But I expect that some of that is in the fit of the machining of this spoke mechanical pencil as well. So it is very customizable. No I in there. Okay. It comes with a dock. Many of you have probably noticed that there is no pocket clip with this. And so it comes with this really high quality, really solid machined plastic dock 
that you just stick the pencil in. Now, my only issue with the dock and not having a pocket clip is that there was there would be no way that I would dock this at school because someone might walk away from it. Okay, it's not necessarily a, a secure environment uh, in that regard. And so my plan is to keep this mechanical pencil at home where I can dock it as you see it right here and then just lift it out of the dock whenever I'm ready to go. So in that regard, I kind of do wish that it did have a pocket clip, but I also like the aesthetics of it a lot. And so some of you might consider that to be a pro. Some of you might consider that to be a con. And as I already mentioned, it comes with all sorts of extra kit as well so that you don't have to worry about lead replacements or eraser replacements. You get with this pencil everything that you need to go. It's a really good gift in that regard as well. Now, it does not come in gift packaging. At least it didn't the one that I came in. It came really well packed. It came in this plastic tube, which if I... Lift off the little nub here, you'll notice that it was uh, a little bit of bubble wrap was stuck in there. It was wrapped really well in the package. It came in a sturdy box with bubble wrap all around the different components. And so I was really pleased with uh, the care that Mr. Conti, who does these things personally, uh, put into arranging everything in the box. Let's go on to the cons, just so we can try to be as objective as possible. So cons is this grip reminds me a lot of the Platinum Pro Use Mechanical Pencil Grip. And I think, yep, I have it accessible right here. So if we compare these side by side, you'll notice that sort of this recessed aluminum is exactly what's going on with the Platinum Pro Use. The Platinum Pro Use grip is a little thicker than the Spoke Force grip. I prefer a skinnier grip. This very much reminds me of the grip of a Pentel P200 series pencil, which I would tend to prefer that diameter. The ribbing on the grip is not as ultimately grippy as I would prefer. I would prefer it to be a little bit uh, less slippery than it is, but I still think that it's serviceable. I'll definitely include this as a con though. Okay. No pocket clip for some people could be considered a con. Comes with the dock. You may not be in a location where docking your pencil is always possible to keep it safe, so keep that in mind. And then I got mine in 0 0.9 millimeters, so mine is basically pocket safe. Like, I really have to jam the pencil down in the pocket for it to damage my pocket. If I had selected this in 0.5 or 0.7 millimeter, that's where you really get into territory where it's difficult for you to maintain the integrity of a pocket if it's that skinnier lead sleeve. And so I would generally consider this to be not pocket safe. So what do I think of it overall? Let's go ahead and run down the rating scale. For writing experience, for me, oh, there's a lot that I like about it, okay? It's the weighting I really like. Uh, it feels good in my hand. It's definitely not too heavy, which is a big thing for me. Yet at the same time, I do find the grip to be a little slippery. And so I'm going to go midway on this and give the writing experience a good this is less than I rate the Rote Ring 600, but we're going to see here in a bit that it's going to make up for that in a second. Uh, quality. My highest rating that I've only given to a small handful of pencils, superb. Not only is the machining of the body superb, but with those wonderful internals of a P200 series pencil, this is pretty much nearly the best one could expect. The only other pencils that I've rated superb, I think, in this category for quality have been the Rote Ring pencils. I think that the spoke is up to snuff on that. And then, finally, features. My Rote Ring 600 I rated an OK+. Plus. And so you may be saying to yourself, well, how would this compare to the spoke? And can you really compare those to each other? A couple things that I want to point out here is that the grip diameter of the Rote Ring 600 is similar, coming in at 8.1 millimeter as, a pair, as compared to 8.3 millimeter for my version of the Spoke 4 that you see in front of you. The Spoke 4 lacks a lead grade indicator, which honestly I can live with. That's not a big deal. I think that a Pentel mechanism 
is better than the rote ring mechanism. So I would tend to rate the spoke higher in that regard. I think the spoke pencil is, whoop, and I'm going to get some boost from the audience, more stylish than the rote ring 600. And uh, when you combine all of those individual features together, the fact that the spoke for the components would be super easy to replace and are ubiquitous and can be found in any store, I'm actually going to go up slightly on features for the spoke for. And I know that some of you are slamming your keyboards and yelling at the screen right now, but I feel pretty confident that that's the way to go. Now, where the spoke for is going to lose out very much so to the Rote Ring 600 at this stage, is that it is going to have a higher cost. It's $39 plus 5 USD ship to the United States. I don't know what Mr. Conti's requirements are or expectations are for international shipping, and so you may have to look into that. It's probably a little bit more expensive for international shipping. But despite that, this is a high-quality product. And I'm of the opinion that I'm willing to spend more for a high quality product. And so we put all this together and where does this thing stand? Folks, three weeks ago, I never would have expected that I was going to alter my top 10 mechanical pencils. But after some time writing with the spoke four is going to happen. So just to remind you very quickly of where I stand on my top 10 my number one is the Rote Ring 600. My number two is a tie between the Rote Ring 600 Newton, which is a vintage pencil no longer available, and the Rote Ring 800. I'm tying these because the Rote Ring 800 is still available. Rote Ring 600 Newton is just a really cool mechanical pencil, so I sort of felt like it warranted a tie. By the way, my top 10 isn't actually 10 pencils. You got to make peace with that. I'm not going to make any apologies for it. Too bad! So we have the Rote Ring 51 Hexamatic, or the Retro 51 Hexamatic, I should say, coming in at number three. Number four, the Pentel Sharp Carry. Great for any person to own. Stylish, wonderful. Number five, the Pentel Graph 1000 for Pro. This one really blew me out of the water and continues to blow me out of the water. I just love it. I did not expect that either. The Pentel Sharp P200 series. This is the pencil that I collect the most. Number seven, Tombow Monograph Zero. Really good value for what it is. Check it out. Number eight, Retro 51 Tornado Mechanical Pencils Twist Mechanism Number 9 There's two listed here but they're essentially the same model The Platinum Zero Shin Which in the past was known as the Stettler Integrity And then finally In the number 10 spot Take your pick Zebra Delgard either the LX or the ER model. So where do I put the spoke for? Oh my gosh, it's crunch time. I got to make a decision, I guess. Um, and this is, this is a really difficult decision for me because, you know, I, I don't really feel confident necessarily bumping anything off the list. So I think what I'm going to end up doing here is that we're going to continue the tradition here of the top 10, not actually being 10 pencils. But given that I think that some of these pencils are a tie and uh, really worth you, you looking out for, I, I think that there's just going to be, um, depending upon what your preferences are, um, a lot of considerations for you in terms of what you want to do. For me, the major con of this is the slippery grip. That's honestly really the only thing that it doesn't have going for it uh, in terms of overall features, quality, writing experience. And so, you know, there are other pencils that I have that have pros and cons as well. And so, honestly, I feel ugh, it's better than the Retro 51 Hexamatic, in my opinion, because that does not have as reliable of a mechanism. In many respects, it isn't as flighty as the Rote Ring 800, but it isn't retractable like either of these as well. 
Then again, the Rote Ring 600 is not retractable, and it's a fine pencil. It's a rock. It's the gold standard, in my opinion, of what we have for a mechanical pencil. And so I think, honestly, what I need to do is that we need a three-way tie for number two on this. So I'm going to put the Spoke 4 mechanical pencil at number two on my top ten, and I think I feel pretty good that that's what needs to happen. Yeah, that means that there are three pencils tied at my number two. Um... Maybe not quite up with there with the retro uh, with the Rote Ring 600, but I have a feeling that if you invest in this mechanical pencil, you're gonna love it no matter what. And I highly recommend it to you, you know. And if this means that Brian Conti is able to continue doing what he does, machining high quality pencils based upon an idea that he had and a Kickstarter that was successful back in 2012. I'm all about getting him more business for this. And so there it is for you folks. This is part two of our 3,000 subscriber celebration. The Spoke 4 customizable mechanical pencil with a very unique design and the tried and true internals of a P200 series mechanical pencil from Pentel. I highly recommend this to you and I really wish that you'll check it out. And so there it is. Thanks for joining me for part two of the 3,000 subscriber celebration. I've had a lot of fun doing this. I'm going to continue to do it so long as it is, it is a stress reliever for me. So far it has been. Remember, folks, I'm doing this as sort of like an outlet for my professional job. And I appreciate your support. And hopefully we're reaching each other in a shared hobby. And so thanks so much for watching and have a great evening.